Welcome back everyone, welcome back to some more Let's Play Darkest Dungeon. This will be part 7 of our Let's Play. In the last episode, we, uh, we, you know, doing the regular thing. We fixed up some people, and I did, before we jumped on, grab... Oh, sorry, before I started recording, jumped on and did a couple of little changes. Uh, and a bit of busy work, so... Uh, I set up a new team. It's, like, a basic team. It's a good team. Should work fine. Bought some new abilities, gave them all level on equipment, you know, blah, 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 blah. Um, we picked up a grave digger? Grave robber, sorry. Um, and they're usually pretty, pretty, pretty fun. And I think we sort of have enough money left over. I did sell that uh, trinket we got in the last one, because I don't really give a shit about the occultist. Um, not my idea of an amazing class. So I think we might go after. We go Swine Prince or the Necromancer Apprentice. Because we got like 2221. You know, it's probably enough to be useful. Actually, the only thing I will check. Can we like upgrade this at all? Only to make it cheaper. Yeah, it doesn't really help. And you. Let's go crazy rank 3. No. Okay, so we can't. Sure, so... Ooh. That's weird. I didn't notice that before. Oh. Are they, do they, like, have a relationship? So they get a named squad or something? Weird, I've, I've never seen that before. Um, I think we're gonna go after the Swine Prince. Necromancer just sounds like a ball ache. Necromancer Apprentice just sounds like, you know, there's going to be lots of just little summons and it would just be a pain. It'd be lots of skeletons. It is a very rare bounty hunter thing, but this one gives you a very rare just focus ring that's like all accuracy and crits, which feels pretty strong. So we're going to provision this. Um, this will be a medium one. Actually, you might take these Aegis scales as well. Just in case, because I haven't done a boss battle at all. Oh, so this is a medium, so we want a little bit more stuff. I'm not going to expect to take too many sort of, well, like, rewards here. So I'm just going to kind of prepare for lots of, like, damage. In fact, we might even take more food. So this is a medium one, so we get to do the uh, camp. The ways and rituals of blood sacrifice are difficult to master. Those from beyond require a physical vessel if they are to make the crossing into our reality. So what, that's a pig? The timing of the chance is imperative. Without the proper utterances at precise intervals, the process can fail spectacularly. Okay, well... Got a fancy little thing. A nameless abomination. Right, what do we got? A testament to my failures. Oh god. Okay, so it's just like a big square. So what we probably want, ideally, is to just go boom 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 straight up the middle. And then hopefully scout at some point. Because that should lead us to... Do the swine print. Oh, okay. Gentlemen. Pleasure to see you here as always. Have that. Okay, or not. Purchase. Uh, Disorienting Blast. Wow, no stuns twice. That is not a cracking start, I'll be honest. Because ideally what we're going to want to do here, I guess, is find the Swine Prince and camp just before we go in. That's going to be my assumption anyway, because that way we can heal up and do all the camp things. Um, yeah, we'll get rid of him. Give them no quarter. And I'm not going to be afraid of leaving this one. So, like, if we have to run away and abandon this quest, we will. Because we sort of... Yeah, we're not going to have much choice here. If we can't pull it off, then... Then we're soft. Uh, it's like a pistol shot. No, he's still not dead. Oh, they have 12 health, right. I thought they had, like... I don't remember. I don't know what I thought. Uh, I don't know, just... 
Noxious Blast him. Her, whatever. Five damage for three rounds is, is a hell of a lot. Um, we're gonna heal everyone. A momentary abatement. Is very strong. Uh, we can't hit three people, can we? So we're actually gonna do this one. So we can clear out that front body. What are we going? Yeah, vomit on me. Spit on me. Uh, yeah, we're gonna keep doing group heal. To hopefully get our health back up a bit. Nice, he's dead. That's what we like to see. And we'll just... Ba-bam. He's dead. Easy. Easy. So yeah, we have a couple of Aegis scales, which is good. I'm not touching the books. Not touching the books. Not for a boss battle. We seem to have really bad luck with the books. So I am... I am, like, I'm out. <laughs> I'm not in the book game anymore. Okay, that's a trap. Ow. Oh, it wasn't too bad, though. Although the Vestal is quite stressed, so... That's not great. Yeah, now we're talking. Uh, secret rooms. Critical scouting success will sometimes reveal a secret room. Advance to the tile... Mark with a star and press W or click to enter. I'll back that way. Okay, so it's one of these two squares. Is the is the boss. I'll be honest, I'm going back for the secret room. I, I want to see what that's about. I haven't even found one of these in my own time. In fact, now that I think back, when I've been playing it in my own time, I haven't had that many scouts. Maybe I just make shit teams for scouting. It's probably true. Okay, so you do what? W? Oh! Just untouched for centuries is a lock compartment to the side of it. Woohoo! That's a lot of money! Uh. Damage up, max HP down, stress up. Mm. Uh. 30% healing skills plus streams of stress. That would be good. If our uh, Watsy wasn't already super stressed. Yeah, because it should tell me if it's like the boss battle, right? I don't just have to go to every battle. Friggin' hope not. That would be awful. Oh, shit, sorry. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. So I'm going to go across the middle and hopefully we get a scout either here or here. And that should show us the entire thing. Should. Hopefully. And then hopefully we'll be able to kill the Swine Prince, because I have no idea what that even looks like. Yes, eat. Eat, eat, eat. Oh wait, shit, when you sleep though, you get like attacked by people. Only treasure could staunch the uh, what do we got? Other worldly corruption. Uh, blood-soaked pages torn from a journal. The others are gone. They were victims of a malevolent transformation. Their scales had rotted to soft, vulnerable flesh, slowly suffocating without gills. The worst was their eyes, close-set and forced to squint through fleshy slits. I shudder, recalling the horrific and unclean warmth of their blood as I rinsed my talons. I nearly retched. May death grant them soft mercy. Weird. Um... You know what? Throw the key. Gimme the gems. Gimme the ruby. That's another grand that we're sitting on there. I'm all for that. Ah, we didn't get a scout. Bummer. If this needs a key, I'm going to be annoyed. Okay, no, it's just a box. That's fine. It's an empty box, even. Okay, but I think we rest here regardless. Like, we camp here... ...and see how we go. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll go for the Judgment. It does heal her as well, which she's kind of the only one that needs it. What's the accuracy of that? 80, A base, okay. That makes sense. Uh, terrain blast, do we try and stun the madman? Just so he doesn't stress out my Vestal, which he will try to do. Just, ah, uh, come on, I needed that kill. Wow, that was not a great first turn. We really didn't kill anyone. 
I can't really do much of anything. We we dinked up the front guy. We slightly hurt the the vomiting pig. And now we're all gonna get things. Yeah, he needs to go. He really needs to go. So he needs to be on seven health before his next turn. I think we can manage that. Because, yeah, at this stage, like, stress we can't really fix. But we can definitely fix, you know, everything else. We can fix healing. That's fine. If we get a bit dinked up by Ball and Chain and the other... Oof. Please stop hitting my Vestal. I need her. Uh, open Vein? Yeah, probably. Oh, yeah, he's way dead. And then... I guess we'll just... Hit the big boy, since we can't really do anything else. And we'll probably kill him with the poison? No. That's unfortunate. Man, these crits! What is with these crits just before I need to body... Go to a boss battle. Actually, wait, no, you can get rid of stress in, in camps. I've done those in my spare time. Can't you? Because you, you definitely have, like, healing things and buffs and stuff. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Uh, yeah, heal everyone. Nice, crit. Would have been nice if you critted yourself. Ah, uh, just kill something. Ah, oh, shit, there's a chest we could have used a key on. Alright. It's a good whiff. Um, do you just heal? Ah, oh, we should have just killed him. Oh, we dodged it. Okay. That's good. Uh, definitely do the group heal. That'll be okay, and then get dodged again, I suppose. What is the chance? 93%. Thank you. Thank you, my god. Okay, again, group heal, because he's now dead. Um, actually, I am going to just slice him up because I want to make sure we don't have any problems with stress. Okay, can we scout this? Oh, we can. Excellent. Ah, I take it's that one. Okay. Um, we are going to camp right here. Get as ready as we can, which you actually kind of already are. The battle may yet be won. Okay, we just need to drop their things. Do you have something like stops... Prevents nighttime ambush. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what we want. Um, Someone else needs to heal. Just do like wound... Oh, not wound care. Shit, I need the other one. I need to drop stress, not the other one. We need to encourage, that's what it is. Uh, nothing for you. Oh, that's kind of cool. Move disease. Prey. You just like prey. So it doesn't work on her. Right, it did say companions. Ah, shit. Yeah, sure, we'll do that as well. Why not? Do we want to put these on? Like, more damage, less max HP. Maybe we just slap that on the Crusader. Because what is his max HP? So he only loses, like, four points. That's... I think that's fine. And then I think we just have to risk this. We, we can use the healing. If it's... I don't... I don't know how hard a boss battle is, but if it's half as hard as everything else, it's going to be pretty bad. A blazing so, born. right. Are we ready? I think we're about as ready as we're going to get, so let's go. No, I'm not. Again, again, not touching the scrolls, not touching books, not touching the scrolls. It Holy shit, that's awful. It has 132 health. Of 
Um, it's got a little arsehole called Wilbur that just marked my guy. Okay, I don't know what that's about yet, but we'll see. I mean, there is a chance I could stun him, but let's just do the damage. Uh, open a vein. Okay, so bleed and blight, he has no resistance. So yeah, we should just stack these. We should just like stack every ability we can find. Okay, no, he's not gonna be too hard. He's already, we've chunked him for 20 damage. I thought he would have attacked the marked guy. Maybe not. Uh, we might actually do this. The light. Although we did just buff him for damage, but I think we're okay. Shit, we are all getting marked though. Don't know if I am in love with that. Four damage over three rounds though. Can we get double this? Can we get ten damage? Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Okay, I think we're gonna handle this just fine. Uh, I'm just going to ignore the little dude. When the marks start getting a bit crazy, maybe I'll sort of focus on him, but... At the moment, we've already got him under half. And 5 and 9 is really not that much. Like, for a boss, I expected more. I expected a bit more damage, a bit more everything. Like, that was just pitiful. In fact, let's just... Empower you with more damage. Um... I mean, we'll do a group heal just for the sake of it. We probably should to help mitigate that damage. He's doing 16 damage every turn. Okay, ready for the big hit? Wow, up to 26 damage. Boom! Yeah, wow. If this is his only stage, I'm kind of waiting for him to, like, turn into something else horrible. But if this is all he's got... Honestly, I'm not, not horrendously worried. 15 damage. Ah, uh, he's going to be dead. 21 damage, he's only got 8 health, so let's just drop some group heals. The wounds of war can be healed. And, uh, I guess I have to kill him. Smite him, noob killer, you're in. The thing is even more horrible um. than death. Oh wow, so it actually does nothing. Okay. Well, assuming Wilbur's not gonna like transform into something awful. Which at this stage and for this game would not super surprise me. Nope, just kinda dead. Okay. Well. Uh, we're gonna dump this money, I think. Grab that. We're gonna continue adventuring. We have plenty of health, plenty of supplies, plenty of light, and now we can stop at any time. So... Why would I... Why would I stop? What do we got in here? Uh, we'll read it. We got a journal page. Only the first test. Uh, journal Darius the Highwayman. Day six. As we traveled from the hamlet, an eerie dread grew. We all felt it, but did our best to shrug it off. Sleep was difficult until Raven, one of my companions, passed me a bitter concoction. The most devout of us, Therion, prayed softly for our safety. Superstitious, but well-intentioned, I suppose. I'm already falling asleep. He got roofied. His, his friend roofied him. Don't know how I feel about that. Wow, we didn't even use the Aegis Scales. Shit. That was good. A handsome reward too. For a task well. Stun skill more. chance? Uh all my stun people actually have stuff. Well Honestly, we'll just like give it to you. Oh no, wish he's got a stun. My bad. He does have that. Seems best is blighted and move resist. You know what? I think this bounty hunter helmet's kinda shit. I don't think we sorta of want that. I know they sort of aren't supposed to move, they're supposed to move other people, but I, I don't... Yeah, I don't rate it. Oh my god. Okay. What's wrong with you? You got the fits. Okay, so you, you got a disease from the book? Sure. I, I guess it could be a mental disease. 
Wow, sorry, I'm still just in shock that we managed to absolutely crush that battle so hard. Oh my god, really? Carelessness will find no um, clemency yeah, in this you can place. fix that. Because, yeah, like, that was not as bad as I thought. Okay, the Vestal is probably going to go insane here. There's, like, no way. Yeah, because I'm going to do... Oh, no, they don't do Grave Nibble. That's the other thing, the maggot-looking things. Let's see if we can shuffle him to the front. Oh, my God, we did. That is... That is exactly what we did. All right, well... Best get to kill him, I suppose. Nice, and then we'll just super kill this guy. Boom. Ooh, That's 23. Amazing. Ouch. Nice try. Maybe they can't reach my Vestal. They might only be able to reach as far back as the Plague Doctor. Plague Doctor's got to have massive Blight resistance, right? Well, 70. It's actually not as high as I expected. They've got high blight resistance. Okay, we'll just embolden you. Make him fast to give him more damage so that when we do the special shot, it uh, kills a bunch of them. Yeah, as long as we don't stuff this up just in our exploration, um, we will have crushed this boss battle. Like, no problemo. Boom. Oh, Crusader. Noob killer, you hit so hard. And Jackie A, you are doing the business as well, quite frankly. Destroyed. Like, these two, they make a good team. Ooh, some Remind busts. I do want those. I don't think we need this much money. I think if we take heirlooms, like, we're going to get plenty of money from that thing. 3,500 bucks. That's a lot of bucks. Sure. Eat up. Nice. Just a shitty pack. Packs laden with loot. Uh oh, two out of six. Day four. The road to this damn hamlet was a tricky one, both to find and to travel. When it revealed its ruined face, I swore I'd never seen such neglect. Some buildings collapsed and uncaring residents fidgeting uselessly. I went swiftly to the tavern. Others with similar interests had gathered there, and I was assembled into an expedition. We leave at first light on the morrow. Yeah, I mean, look, they're 750 each. I guess we swap these out just to make that extra 250. You know, might as well. And this will probably be the last room. We don't really need to explore it much further. We may even get out of this with our Vestal not crazy. Again, that's the dream. Um... Probably want to shoot one of them, right? Like, we want to kill one. Okay, the drums are really annoying, so we'll focus on that. And we'll just smite someone. No, wait, they act very quickly, so if I don't kill them now, he'd probably act, like, first. Ouch. No, she's, she, need, if she gets three more stress, she's gonna snap. Shit, she's probably gonna get it. He'll vomit on her. Ooh, not today, though. Come on. Yes, we got the stun, and we shuffle the bodies. Nice. What's your, uh, you don't have a special name, but Chiron the Plague Doctor. I like you. You, you do goo. You do very goo. Nice. Bubbling. Yes. Wow, I only dropped three stress. That's not great. <laughs> Expected better. Okay, he's got one health. He's basically dead. I don't need to touch him anymore. Uh, noob killer. Just delete that guy. And then... Uh, we'll just... We'll keep him busy. And we'll get some heals in. Oof. The slow death. Nice. Unforeseen. Uh, Unforeseen. bit of money we don't have. What do we got here? Uh... Bandages? No, it doesn't make sense. Do we bless it? Do we anti-venom? No. Burn it? Nope. We medicinal herbs, I suppose. Yeah. Fair enough. It's worth checking out. 
waiting to be spent. Um, but... Uh, you know what, fuck it, we're here. And I'm also thinking we won't really have the time to, like, start another expedition after this, so probably worth it to just get the most out of this one while we're here. Wealth beyond measure. And we're not really hurting for anything. At the moment we just can't pick up stuff because we have we have shit. Oh, also, that's for the highwayman. Sorry, you can you can have that. Less stress you'll receive, that's fine. He tends to dodge a lot, he doesn't get super stressed. It's usually you guys that don't have the speed to dodge that get ultra stressed. Unless they do big group attacks, but not much you can do about that. Uh, we're gonna pop some of these. Probably shouldn't have. Like, these guys are pretty painless. So maybe fighting them in the dark just to see what that's like would have been worth it. Yeah, if you guys grave nibble the Vestal, I'm gonna be really pissed. She can survive one, but she definitely can't survive two. And dead. Okay, yeah, so that would have been interesting to fight in the dark, just to see Foolish how good the loot actually gets. Because allegedly, the, the loot is better. Nice, we need that. Again, we need to try and shuffle their swine drummer up. So I'll do a bit of damage. We will uh, disorient him, hopefully shuffle him forward. Mm, not far enough. Unfortunate. He is still stunned though, so if we just like delete someone here. Eradicated. Then we just have to kill the body. Somehow. Death waits for the slightest lapse in concentration. We'll probably make it. Oh, or we just get rid of him ourselves. Nice. Uh, yeah, I figured they'd probably have very high blight resistance. Uh, just buff him. Maybe it's worth taking a standard type attack on the Plague Doctor. I mean, this has been working pretty well for us, but... Sometimes we get into that situation where we just can't do any attacks, and he is still kind of in the firing line. Okay, just delete a body. You know, I, I know you can. You delete fully grown people. There we go. Bring him in. Bring him closer. Wow, he must have one health. Yeah, yeah, one health. Uh, this will probably kill. Definitely will if you crit. I'll take this. Uh, again, don't really care for money. Uh, you take this. Sure. Trick of the light. Ah, oh, a little bit of poison. A little, little bit of poison. Poison didn't hurt nobody. Alright, let's get out of here. Well, we did it. We killed the Swine Prince. And we also earned just a ton of money. I want to see it come in. Noise. Okay, don't really care about the heirlooms, though. And we have three more paintings, we have four crests, and we have that ring. Which I'm all about. Uh, stun resistance, not bad. You picked up the red plague. Wow, you basically just bleed. Ouch, that's a bad one. Hmm. Okay, so what happens now? Take advantage of this. Uh, the abbey will be decorated for the duration of the event, and all are welcome to visit during extended hours on All Saints Day, so everything in there is free. Uh, sluggishly after a long night of drinking. Effective. Levels, blah, 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 blah. Um, oh, I've used an arbalist. They're pretty good. We don't have a man at arms, do we? Oh, no, we do. We do have a man at arms. Nice. I think if I check, what is it, here? In time, you will know the tragic extent of no, wait, my it's, failings. it's, uh, this one, right? Yeah. So I have to do all of this. Well. 
I mean, that's a lot of... It's a lot of stuff. So maybe we should have gone for the Apprentice Necromancer first. Maybe we should have tackled this in order. Right? Maybe? So yeah, the Swine Prince, then the Swine King, then the Swine God. <laughs> okay. Sure. First slot on the Darkest Dungeon, second, third, final. Okay. So we got a long way to go, but... You know, we can get there. Oh, of course you're in there when it's all free. You absolute muppet. Uh, you have to meditate. That's fine. You know what? It's free. Uh, anyone else need... I want to pray. You know what? No, uh, no, it's a bit of a waste, isn't it? Well, actually, it's free. Fuck it. Go for it. I can't use you on level 1 challenges anyway, so... It's fine. Right, you treat that. You treat this. Uh, we will set up our next team. Just to make it easier. We'll sort it by level. We'll bring, like, a new squad. We'll bring a new squad of weirdos. So, man-at-arms like to be at the front. Uh, grave robbers tend to like to be sort of towards the back. Uh, we'll bring the occultist, because we kind of need some sort of healer. And... What's a good second rower? Bounty hunter, I guess. Yeah, I think they're a good second rower. Actually, no, the flagellants. Flagellants are amazing. Love flagellants. Although we do also have the antiquarian. Because we... Okay, actually, right. Antiquarian's going to go in third slot, which leaves her in the second slot, which she's kind of okay with. Um, we might change some of... Uh, yeah, we might change some of our abilities, buy some new ones. We have 12 grand, so we can definitely afford it. Uh, anyone need upgraded equipment? Yeah, Antiquarian can use upgraded equipment. So can you. And then we need some abilities. Uh, so he's in the front row, and I want to keep him there. So maybe there's nothing here that I really want. Actually, rep repost and retribution's not bad. Okay, we're gonna get rid of this and we're gonna change it in for retribution, I think. So that's fine. Uh, right. She can't use lunge from where she is. Shadow fade moves you back. I'm sort of not into that. So we might go throne dagger is pretty good. Uh, flashing daggers? Yeah. So she just, like, throws a lot of daggers. That that works out. That that tracks. Uh, that's all fine. Although... No. I, I think this is fine. We'll just level those up. We still have five grand, so we'll probably pay out these as well. I think this is fine. Here's sort of layout. Hands from the Abyss is kind of shit. We'd probably want him to have, like, Demon's Pull or Weakening Curse instead. But... Because he, he can't actually use Hands from the Abyss. But it's not worth... Oh, wait, we do have things, though. Uh, right, might as well give you that. Plus 10 accuracy. So he's got bad accuracy. Like 90... Actually, does he have bad accuracy? It is pretty bad. Okay, you know what? Congratulations, you get the special ring. Less dodge, but he's sort of a tank anyway. So, wait, well, he has zero dodge. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. It's not fine. Oh, no. He's got fair weather fighter. And low speed on the first round. So this is, like, never going to proc. There's no way. That might be worth not getting rid of, but, like, ignore this and we get rid of that or something. I don't know. I think this is fine. Uh... Yeah, no, this is fine. Okay, but we are going to leave this episode here, I think. We don't really have anything else we want to, like, put anyone in. Eh, like, do we... How much is this worth? 
A grand? Nah, nah. We can't afford to throw away another grand. Okay, we are going to leave this episode here. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, make sure you subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos on there. If you think you know any friends who might enjoy my content, make sure you share a video too with them. I really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback for videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comments section down below so I can see it. And I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.